And now for our next adventure. I have no idea. <laughs> that was the only thing I planned. Um, of course, everybody talks about Badwater Basin, which is at the end of this road. So that's where I'm heading. And there's Artist Palette as well. That's supposed to be really nice um, during twilight because apparently the colors come out really well. And then Devil's Golf Course, maybe? So um, I'm just gonna go and as I see signs, I'm gonna pull over and just kind of check out Death Valley. <laughs> All right, what's for lunch today? Definitely an orange or whatever these things are. I freaking love them. And then, oh my gosh, I have so much good stuff. I have these lentils that are all ready to go. Ooh, chickpeas. Oh, there's a Thai, what is it? Oh, coconut curry. <gasps> and then I have some rice. Mmm, so yummy. And I don't even have to warm it up. So there's that. I think I'll have this for lunch with my orange. And I'm just going to uh, take a moment. Ooh, some electrolytes. Have some electrolytes. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna take a moment to um, chill out because it's crazy right now out there. It's so windy. It's about 12.30. There's tons of people here and I'm in no rush. So I'm just gonna hang out in my Subaru and watch all these people get blown away <laughs> while I eat my curry. And ask for a better place than this to have my orange and the rest of my lunch. I just took a little nap. No snooze. I'm gonna feel better. Full tummy, epic hike, 10 minute nap. Let's go see some stuff. I assumed that these formations were going to be very delicate and I entered the, um, the, the field of salt crystals very cautiously and it turns out they're actually incredibly sturdy and very sharp. Um, at one point I sort of lost my way and I stepped on one of them and it didn't, it didn't even chip the top little pokey parts. <laughs> Words are hard. Anyway, I was surprised. It was really gorgeous, and uh, it's like a it's like a completely different world out there. I can't believe this exists, and it's in California, and I get to visit. It's pretty amazing. Between two and 4,000 years ago, the basin was the site of a 30 foot deep lake that evaporated and left a one to five foot layer of salt in its wake. With the Black Mountains in the background, visitors can stroll through a shimmering expanse of nearly pure white table salt in Badwater Basin. At 282 feet below sea level, it is the lowest point in the continental United States.
I am now on Artist Drive, I think is what it's called. And I think that this is a five mile, one way type of situation and every half a mile you pull over to see something. So I'm at my first stop. Let's go see something. I don't know if it's the lack of sleep last night or the 13 miles that I've already walked today, but man, the fatigue is hitting me hard. I am not into this right now. <laughs> This is why I feel disappointed. You climb up this hill and you're like, oh my God, what is it gonna look like? Uh, oh. Okay. This has happened to me a couple of times today. I'll be hiking up a hill, expecting some sort of glorious vista at the top of it. And when I finally get to the top, it's a parking lot. <laughs> I know there's going to be some redeeming qualities um, for this drive because it came so highly recommended. And if it's anything like the little preview we had on the hike, I'm sure that it's going to be gorgeous. All right, this is what I'm talking about. This is incredible. The colors are so vibrant. I'm sure they're not being picked up on the camera, but they're just stunning, stunning. So I think a lot of people go to that lookout spot for sunset because as I was leaving, a ton of people were coming in. I think that's like a destination for sunsets. I need to go find out where I'm sleeping tonight. And I would rather do that in the daylight and not in the nighttime and not in the dark. So I'm going to skedaddle from this beautiful place and find my camping spot for the night. 